Kia ora koto. welcome to this Science 1.1 Mechanics video. In this video we are looking at the difference between weight and mass. So weight is a term that we are very familiar with. We might ask somebody that we uh, know really well how much they weigh, um, and if they didn't know they'd be able to jump on some scales, weigh themselves, and then they'd give you an answer that would likely be something along the lines of I weigh perhaps 80 kilograms. In a science context, this would not actually be a correct statement. So what we've said here is 80 kilograms. When what we've seen in the previous video is that mass is actually measured in kilograms. So when we're using the units kilograms in a science context, what we're actually describing is the mass of something. So to be able to talk about the difference between weight and mass, we'll need to start by describing what mass actually is. So mass is the measure of the amount of matter inside an object. So if we had a box here um, that had six particles, each particle had a mass of one kilogram, the total amount of matter inside that object would be six kilograms. So this box is six kilograms. It has a mass of six kilograms. So the difference between mass and weight is that weight is actually a force acting on an object as a result of gravity. So if we were to take this box, um, and we wouldn't actually need to take it anywhere because we're all here on Earth as it is. So if we had this box on Earth, the gravity acting on this object would be what causes the weight of that object. So we know from uh, shots of astronauts that we've, we've seen of them on the moon, that the moon has less gravity. So if somebody was to jump off, jump on the moon, then they, they look a lot more floaty than they do on Earth. And that is because there is a lesser force acting on objects on the moon, of which would have the same mass, than on objects acting on Earth. So if we were to give a def definition of weight, we would say weight is the force on an object caused by caused by the effect of gravity. So if an object was on a uh, on a planet that had a lesser gravity than another planet, then the weight of that object would be greater on the planet that had the greater um, value for gravity. So with Earth and the Moon, we actually know what gravity is on in both of these instances. So gravity is measured as an acceleration. On Earth, the, the value of gravity is 10 meters per second squared. And on the Moon, it is 1.6 squared. Uh, so we could calculate the force of the force acting on an object, um, or the weight force of an object, if we knew the mass of it and we knew the gravity um, on that particular planet. So if we take this box for example, we might get a question that asks for us to calculate the weight of this box on Earth. So the weight of it, we just what we do is we use the formula that we introduced in the last video. So it's F equals m a. But what we can do is reiterate this and say that F, so because the weight is actually a force, so we can just change this F to weight. So we'll say weight, weight equals the mass, so the mass stays the same, um, equals the mass times gravity. So because gravity is a type of acceleration, we can just, instead of having A, what I'm going to do is just put a G there, instead of writing out gravity. That should be a times. So we've got weight equals mass times gravity. That is just using different, that is using the same equation, but using different terms for it. So instead of saying force, we've said weight, and instead of saying acceleration, we have said gravity. But the units of all of these things are the same. So the units of weight is still newtons, and the units for gravity is still meters per second per second. So if we've got our box of six kilograms, 
which is on Earth, which has a, an acceleration or a gravity of 10 meters per second per second, the weight would equal the mass, so 6 times gravity, which is 10. Uh, and so the weight of this object on Earth is actually 60, 60 newtons. Okay, so if we were to take this box and put it on the moon, the moon has, an ex moon has a gravity of 1.6 meters per second per second. So we would need to go 6 times 1.6 in order to be able to calculate the weight on this object. So I'll just do that very quickly. Um, 6 times 1.6 equals 9.6. So the weight of this box on the Earth would be 60 newtons. The weight of the box on the moon would be 9.6 newtons. So the weight of an object does change according to where it is in the universe, whereas the mass, the mass of the object, whether it's on Earth or on the moon, will still be 6 kilograms because it's still got those 6 particles in it. So if we go back to the start, back to the question of how much do we weigh, if we're on Earth, if our mass, so we've decided that when we say we weigh 80, kil 80 kilograms, that's actually a description of our mass, so we have a mass of, so or, I have a mass of, of 80 kilograms, how would I actually work out my weight? So I would need to go um, weight equals weight equals mass times gravity, so weight equals mass, which is 80 times 10, which is gravity on Earth, and so I would be able to answer that that question in a scientific uh, uh, way by saying that I have a, a weight of 800, 800 newtons. So that would be the correct scientific de definition of weight, is the force on an object as a result of the effect of gravity. Thank you for watching this video. Sub like and subscribe for more uh, Science 1.1 Mechanics videos. See you next time.